Hi everyone. Hope you are doing well. In this lecture, we are going to work with the uh, very important thing which is always occurring in our systems. So yes, there is a beautiful wallpaper here. Yes. So what is the problem today? Today's problem is if in your system, if you encountered problem like this, aeroplane mode or flight mode in your system it is generally occur in window 11 or window 10 or in any other window so that means your wi-fi connection is not there and you you are you know doing many things over there but your wi-fi connection is not there so what are the different different methods by which we can i i encountered encountered this problem and yes definitely it was very irritating um how very when it was not there because everything is gone we are not able to access internet yes definitely we can access the internet through USB cables through hotspot but not to your Wi-Fi connection so how we are going to solve this so there are different different methods which you should try first and then you can reset it reset your network to the original settings so one by one I'll try to give you the concept how you are going to solve this problem and if the problem is not solved by these methods it is better to reinstall your windows and uh, then your drivers will be automatically updated this is one solution and second solution is if all the methods which i'm going to explain you if the methods are not you know uh, are not valid for you then you can go for your external wi-fi don't waste your time on you know the internal treating your internal wi-fi and all there is a external uh, usb for wi-fi also so you can just connect that okay just try these methods first and then uh, go for the last option which i have given you okay so first you have to try with your device manager you can just type device manager here so like i have typed device manager click on it and just open the device manager and just see whether your network adapters are having your wi-fi or not if it they are having some if in my case because I have an external Wi-Fi here because as I told you I face the same problem that's why I'm saying you what are the different methods yeah yes when I face the problem first time then I uh, did, I you know did the same methods and my Wi-Fi connection was again back but after some time I I encountered the same problem and now it is better for you know for an external USB Wi-Fi rather than wasting the time if I am not going to reinstall the windows and all so you just try it you just do one thing you just uh, you know disable the device first and then your Wi-Fi device and then enable it again like i'm trying to you know going with this enable device and in this way you can do this is the one method uh, if your hardware is not there your adapter is not there try the second method by clicking on this scan for hardware changes or you can click on this action button there is also a scan for hardware changes and if you click on this automatically your Wi-Fi driver will be installed and your problem will be solved this is the second method third method is you if adapter is not there you can just click on the add legacy you know hardware for the adapters click on the next click on install hardware I manually select from the list then click on the network adapters and then you need to you know have idea about your model number of your laptop or the machine you are using and their manufacturers the adapter and all you can choose anyone and then click on the model like this and then you have to follow the next next and next and you will see your adapter will be there this is one thing you will go with it if you will not get the wi-fi connection still you will get the you know like this the airplane mode then another method what you have to go with third method what you will go with you will go with 
you just click on the start button and you will just say services just try this also services double click on it or single click on it there are the two options which you can choose one is your wlan that is you just have to click on the wlan you just search for that you just search for wlan there is a wlan option you can just go for it wlan auto config right click on it and say restart and if it is not in a automatic mode how you can put it in a automatic mode you just double click on it you will get this dialog box and there in your case if it is manual just click on it as an automatic and then restart it and click on the apply button and click on the ok as I told you in my case there will be some missing problem so in this way you can go with it this is the another method there is some one more method there is one thing called as radio connection so just click on the r and just say radio management services do it the same way as i done wlan just you know you have to always remember it should be running it should be automatic there is w one more thing which you can go with there is one more thing as we saw wlan there is one more thing that is called as here wlan auto config is there and w double you know double w van auto config it should also be in a running automatic mode so these are the things which you have to always and always remember when you do this in everything whatever you are doing after you have to restart you know your computer restart your computer and do the same thing restart your computer do the same thing in this way you have to go with this so these are the things which you can try in your laptop or a pc then you can get your wi-fi back this is one more thing there is one another way by which you can you know have your uh, driver have your wi-fi driver back you just need to do one more thing there are certain commands there are certain wi-fi commands for the cmd you can go with them and there is a one more thing what you will do by last if you are not getting anything then you just go to the network and internet which is there you can just right click on it and you can get the network and internet so you will go to the advanced network settings here when you click on the advanced network set you will see network reset if you click on this network reset option see there is a network reset option when you click on it it will it will reset all the you know if you click on it it will reset your network and it will say after five minutes your system will be reboot your system will be reboot so you have to wait a while if your system is not restarting you just uh, you know uh, manually do it but it will restart you have to wait for five minutes it will restart itself and wait a while maybe you get the wi-fi connection here this is one more method by which you can you will be able to get the connection but don't fr get frustrated by because these are the options which will be available all over the internet and sometimes like in my pc i i did the all methods but in my pc i was not able to get the connection but once i you know what i find i need to reinstall the windows and then i can get the my driver wi-fi driver back but i have no such time for that as my classes are going on so what i did i purchase an external i purchase an external wi-fi from the market and that is usb i just connected it i just connected it and within a second you will see my wi-fi connection will be here i just connected it you just got the beep for that so it shows that my wi-fi connection is now but it will take some little time see now it is giving you the wi-fi connection it is there now the airplane mode has been you know off now it is enabled earlier it was not so i have inserted a usb again i'm telling you external wi-fi usb it is hardly starting from the range of 200 to you know six seven hundred you can buy it and you can just go with the wi-fi connection don't frustrate yourself with the uh, methods over and over again and again because it is not necessary that it will be feasible for the all systems so i think uh, now i have 
you know uh, disconnected the Wi-Fi now I connected it again and you will be able to see my Wi-Fi is there but I have not connected yes I have connected now and now you will be able to see that so don't I I just found you know I just found that I should share this video with you people because I was really really frustrated from three days I was trying each and everything but it is not working so don't waste your time with all the things you can buy a fresh usb wi-fi and you can work isn't it i think this content is useful for you if you really find this content was useful please put a thumbs up share this video with your friends so that they will get a clear idea about this and uh, subscribe my channel i'll meet you in the next chapter of programming and the coding and the uh, things like these and till then take care god bless you stay blessed